Our society, though, has rejected God's holy days, and we have substituted our own method for worshiping God, such as Christmas, Easter, and now Halloween in church. So we've rejected what the Bible says. These are the feasts of Jehovah. And we've come up with our own method for worshiping God. And like I said, you know, again, name the two most important holidays found in your Bible. Well, it's not Christmas and Easter. And it surely, surely isn't Halloween. Oh, man, it just it amazes me that you see that in church, Halloween. Now, do you know why that you keep, why you don't keep the feast of the Lord's? Why you don't keep God's holy days? Do you know why you don't keep them? Chances are it's because every, nearly, well, not every, but on Sunday morning, your preacher is telling you you don't have to. That's one of the reasons you think these holy days are not important. They're not important because you've been convinced by your preacher who has come along and told you, no, those holy days are for Israel, <clears throat> they're for the Jews, they're Mosaic, they're Old Testament, they were nailed to the cross, they've been fulfilled, they have no meaning for us today. That's the reason. I mean, I can't, it's like the blind leading the blind. You know, I, I can't really expect much out of you if that's what you're being taught behind the pulpit from your preacher. Again, it's like the blind leading the blind. So what category does the feast days fit into? Well, they fit into love for God and love for fellow man because the feast days were made for the whole family to enjoy and to learn about God. And you know, if I could think of two things that draws families together close to each other and to God, it would be the Sabbath day and the feast days. Because the Sabbath is a rest. It's time for you to be together as a family system. And the holy days are festivals, uh, feast of tabernacle, uh, tabernacles, feast of ingathering. You know, it's a time where, where family is together for seven days. It's a beautiful time. It's a beautiful celebration. 